Yo guys, what's welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be ranking all four of the Marvel Disney Plus TV shows. So in this video, I'll be ranking the Marvel Disney Plus shows from my least favorite to my favorite. I don't think any of the shows are bad at all. But before we get into it, if you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe and enter notifications on so you don't miss any time of the video or go live. Also, leave your rankings for all the Disney Plus Marvel shows in the comments down below. Both always need more time. Let's get into it. So starting off in fourth place is going to be Falcon and Winter Soldier. I actually love this show, but it was just too regular for me. It just felt like too much of the normal. MCU that doesn't mean it's bad I'm gonna be honest I think that's actually really good they played it safe with one of the shows they did a little bit different stuff in terms of like I guess wokeness which I personally did like I thought they integrated it perfectly but that's really the only like different thing they did than any other project and whenever I'm looking at these Marvel Disney Plus shows personally I'm looking for something that I'll never get on the big screen for the most part until obviously Multiverse of Madness like we did WandaVision stuff we'll get in Multiverse of Madness same thing with Loki stuff but since though we've never gotten in the past Falcon Winter Soldier just felt like too much of the Winter Soldier stuff, and and I, I I'm not gonna complain about that because I love Fal I love Falcon Winter Soldier. I love the Winter Soldier movie. The Winter Soldier is one of my favorite superhero movies of all time. But compared to these other shows, it's just not unique at all. Again, that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. I love the story. I love the arcs of all the characters. Falcon becoming Captain America is one of the most deserving arcs in the entire MCU. And I think that the show did a good job with character arcs, story arcs. Just overall, the writing was great, but overall, it was just too basic for me, and it just felt like classic Marvel again that's not a bad thing but at the same time it does fall into some tropes like bad villains only one of these shows had a good villain and that one show's villain wasn't even really the villain so i'll get into that when i talk about that show but i think john walker was an almost perfect villain actually but the main villain of the show was carly sadly and one thing i didn't like about walker was at the end of the show they really rushed into his storyline of trying to redeem him and then making him u.s agent at the end again with madam hydra and just they did too much of his character at the end i think they should have just left him as being an anti-hero after he killed the guy in Madripoor I think it was or wherever it was he killed the dude they should have just left him as an anti-hero had him help a little bit in the finale but they shouldn't have made him seem like he was trying to redeem himself and also just overall Carly was not a good villain I think even people who think Falcon Winter Soldier is the best Disney Plus show they'll all admit that Carly wasn't the best at all and so I just think Carly was pretty mid but in third place my third favorite Marvel Disney Plus show is What If I think that this show only had two really bad episodes at the same time it only had three really 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 good episodes but i think in the case of what if it's completely different number one i don't even think what if should be judged compared to these other shows because number one it's more of an anthology series where obviously it connects at the end but in the moment each episode is its own thing until like basically the last three episodes and so it's like an anthology series so you can't really compare it in my opinion but if we are comparing it i would say the three episodes that stood out to me were the strange episode the ultron episode and then the very last episode the finale the made the most recent one that came out that finale honestly might be one of the better finales for the disney plus marvel shows i think the loki finale is just untouchable but i do think that what is finale might be a close second i also really love the animation in what if i think that a lot of the characters were perfect they were all super unique in their own ways my favorite character in what if definitely has to be the sorcerer supreme doctor strange also ultron is a phenomenal character i love what they did with captain carter in the end of the show didn't really like her in her own episode and the two bad episodes i was talking about you guys can check out my full episodes rank but i'll tell you guys here if you want to know it it's basically star lord t'challa that episode and captain carter episode the first two episodes of what if i just didn't think they were that good they weren't that unique they didn't really fall into what if really in my opinion they just felt like other stories but just swapped out and nothing else really changed that's really what captain carter and t'challa's movie uh, episodes were but other than that i loved a lot of the episodes no episode was bad for example the zombies episode wasn't the best thing in the world but wasn't the worst thing but number two is gonna be wandavision now i'm super biased in this one i'm gonna tell you guys right off the bat the social media surrounding this show made this show 10 times better you guys can go back to my channel i made so many theory videos all that kind of stuff are surrounding wandavision i just think that wandavision's social media presence i guess you could say also being the first disney pro or marvel project back since the big hiatus because the pandemic but overall i just think that wandavision number one was an experience that no other show has given us one show has gotten close which i'll mention later but wandavision really was just up there even though it didn't necessarily deliver on all of the theories and speculation and everything that doesn't really matter to me personally i was talking about this on my finale watch party for what if but personally for me if the theory doesn't come true i don't really mind the reason for that is because it's just a theory like it's just something that i want to happen if it doesn't happen it happens better that i'm not going to be mad you know it doesn't really matter to me the only one thing that i'm still mad about is not seeing reed richards that's that's still stuck in my head but other than that i don't really care about the ralph boner joke it was funny i don't really care my biggest issue with the show is number one the villain it was just agatha was just super mid also it was super rushed towards 
towards the end. They built up so much and they kept teasing a lot of stuff, but the writing just couldn't keep up with it. And it just really just, it too got too ahead of itself. And nothing really felt like it was too satisfying because they kept teasing stuff at the end of every episode, but we never really got any big reveal that actually makes us like feel satisfied within the show. I know this leads directly in the Multiverse of Madness, so we'll get satisfied then, but just within the show itself, I didn't really feel satisfied. I also love the Halloween episode and Vision, in my opinion, is the best Disney Plus Marvel show side character. He's absolutely awesome. And then Wanda's also perfect. I think the best episode is definitely the Halloween episode. The Halloween episode, in my opinion, is one of the better Disney Plus Marvel shows in general. I also love the costumes. Again, the writing. I loved it. I liked the teases, but it was just like, it, it never actually felt fulfilling. And then finally, I definitely felt like the show had pacing issues. I think the first two episodes could have been combined. And then the third and fourth episode maybe could have been combined. But I like the tease of the third episode about uh, Monica leaving the hex and stuff like that. So overall, the show was really great. It just had some core issues with it. But in first place, my favorite Marvel Disney Plus TV show has to be Loki. I think this is an almost perfect show. I will say the beginning just felt a little bit too slow because we had no idea what was going on, but it was the same case with WandaVision. So I don't cut it like that many points for that specifically, but I think the middle to end of this show was perfectly paced. All the episodes had great teases with great payoffs in the next episodes. We knew enough and then just enough was kept a secret with Sylvie and Lady Loki. Like all that, all those little things, just everything paid off. It didn't feel like they were dragging it on for too long. And it felt like there was a real payoff in this show. It, it was kind of mixing what WandaVision did best with the teases and mystical art side of things, but also did the same thing with Falcon and Winter Soldier. And I think it worked because of like the combat style of Falcon and Winter Soldier. It used a lot of those elements elements with the mystical elements of WandaVision and just combining that brings together not only the social media hype that WandaVision got but also the absolute crazy action choreography that Falcon War Soldier had combining for probably the best Marvel Disney Plus TV show. I'll say I think that this show does have the best Marvel Disney Plus episode, episode four where they find out that the timekeepers are fake. That episode is absolutely insane. The audience reaction, social media reaction from all of that was also crazy. Also I just I, I like how they had the phenomenal setup in the end the entire show for the future of the MCU, just the way that they set everything up in the finale with introducing Kang. And the finale, I think, of, of Loki had the biggest impact on the entire MCU, which I really did like. It was kind of crazy to think that a Marvel Disney Plus TV show is going to be setting up the future of the MCU. Also, the characters such as Mobius, Loki, Sylvie, B-15, Ravona Renslayer, even Kang the Conqueror, all of the characters were so great. They had great development, even though they were, uh, most of them, slash all of them were brand new, except for Loki. And it was just great to see them all in this MCU. And I love the way that they set up their characters and i think their character is going to be absolutely crucial and awesome in the future of the mcu but yeah guys that's my ranking for all four marvel disney plus tv shows again i don't think any of these shows are bad i think they're all really good and i think marvel is going to make even better tv shows in the future again let me know your ranking for all four marvel disney plus tv shows in the comments down below thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time peace